welcome. This is uh, Silhouette Headquarters. I'm Kelly Wayman, and I am super excited to be here and talk to you about the brand new Cameo Pro. This thing, I shouldn't call it a thing, <laughs> this lovely machine is awesome. I've been playing with it for, um, I don't know, a month now, and I, I love it. Um, so I thought I would just start out by telling you uh, some of the features, some of the things that I love about this machine. So I don't know how many of you already have a Cameo 4, um, or if you're looking to upgrade from an older, cam uh, older silhouette machine, um, but th these are a few things that I like about the Cameo 4 and the Cameo Pro. So the Cameo Pro, as you can see, is very large. Um, it cuts a full 24 inches wide. Uh, the lid is a great improvement, I think, over the Cameo 3 because it's so small. You just lift and tuck it back in there and the lid itself doesn't add anything to the footprint. So I love that. Uh, another thing that I love is the new auto blade. And this is the same with all Cameo 4 models, but uh, it has a one touch reset and then counts up. So when you're ready to start a job, you tell the machine through the software, through Silhouette Studio software, what your, what your material is, and it will uh, set your blade based on the material you choose. And your most common materials are probably gonna be paper and vinyl and heat transfer, and those are on the lower end of what the blade needs to do. And so it'll touch once to reset it to zero, and then it'll count up. So you get less tapping if you're used to an original auto blade uh, in like the Cameo 3 and the Portrait 1 or Portrait 2, sorry. Uh, so that one touch reset, I love. And I love not having to twist and dial my own settings. The blade does it all for me. Uh, the Cameo Pro also like uh, the other smaller Cameo 4 models. It has a carriage 2 that is for specialty tasks. And so it has specialty tools that are used in tool two. Uh, that's like the rotary blade, the weeding punch tool, and the three, three millimeter craft blade. Um, and those will do specialty tasks because you have extra force in carriage two. Uh, so those are the same as in other Cameo 4 models, but the Cameo Pro has some extra features. So because it's wider and larger, uh, it has an external roll feeder system. So the Cameo 4 and the Cameo Plus, Cameo 4 Plus, uh, they have a built-in roll feeder, but the Cameo Pro has an external roll feeder. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Uh, you also can use, it also comes with a 24 by 24 inch mat. Okay, so when you get your Cameo Pro, it's gonna have these multiple pieces. And so it's really easy to set up. I'm gonna have to turn this a little bit. Okay, you can still see that, I hope. But what I do is I line up these pieces up against the machine. Uh, there's a little notch side uh, that has a spot for it in the Cameo Pro. And so you just put it up towards the machine and then I lift and pull the machine onto those pieces. Oh, I got a little jiggle as I did that. There we go. And then it has a supporting crossbar, has little hooks that attach in here to keep it stable. And so you've got this external roll feeder and it's really nice. Um, it will accommodate different lengths of vinyl. So uh, you've got, you can go nine inch, 12 inch, 15 inch, all the way up to 24 inch. And those rolls of vinyl, let me actually 
Let me go ahead and put a roll of vinyl on there. It has little wheels that are super smooth that lets that roll. And I will show you in a minute how to load and um, we'll cut something. But I also wanna show you the 24 by 24 inch bat, mat. So when you're using any mat, you wanna add this extra support piece. So I'll take off the little support bar and I will just lift up my machine. Oops, get the hook in there. Slide it under there and then add the support bar back. And this is the mat that uh, your Cameo Pro comes with. So it's nice and big. It will do a full 24 inches. Uh, the thing that's different about, because this is such a large machine, uh, the thing that's different about this mat is that it has some, it's different on the side compared to regular size Cameo mats. So there's a side that does not have a de adhesive. So if you're cutting uh, something smaller, like a piece of letter size paper, you're gonna put that on your mat so it's not covering the adhesive, uh, it's not covering the blank spot. Uh, and so your software will actually remind you and tell you exactly how to put your paper on that mat. Um, but if you're doing something big, like you've got 24 inch vinyl or fabric that's 24 inches, you can use that, you can use the full 24 inches and load that and cut that whole space. You can use smaller mats. So if you wanna use a Cameo 12 by 12 inch mat, uh, you can do that. You can use your smaller mats in the Cameo Pro. I've been using this as my prime machine uh, and just using bigger or smaller mats depending on what project I'm doing because it does everything that the Cameo 4 does, it just can go bigger. Okay, do we have any questions so far? I do have a project I can show, um, but I was just wondering if there's any questions so far. Okay, so it sounds like there's no uh, significant questions. So I'm gonna show you, actually I'll do a little bit of show and tell. Yeah. Yes, the Cameo Pro cuts fabric. Uh, to cut fabric, you would use the rotary blade and that is sold separately. It doesn't come with the machine, but it will cut uh, fabric. I use the rotary blade for fabric, felt, and crepe paper, and I love it. And then we also have, can you cut HTV material without a mat? Yes, you can cut vinyl and heat transfer vinyl. The question was, can you cut HTV without a mat? And yes, you can. Uh, you can cut heat transfer straight from the roll. Like I showed earlier, you can adjust that roll feeder. So if you're working with 12 inch heat transfer vinyl, even nine inch heat transfer vinyl, uh, you can just put it on your external roll feeder and load it in and it will cut it just like any other silhouette machine. It's, it's, it works great. Okay, so the next question is, is the software the same for the Cameo Pro? And yes, it is. It still uses Silhouette Studio that if you've been using Silhouette machines in the past, you are familiar with Silhouette Studio, so you don't have to learn anything new. Uh, actually, let me show you my screen. And you can see what the mat looks like. Okay, so this is the 24 inch mat. I'm gonna drag my little page setup panel here. Okay, so for my machine, I've chosen Cameo Pro. My cutting mat is selected as the Cameo Pro, the 24 inches by 24 inches. But as you can see, you can choose 
other sizes. So if I wanted to choose the Cameo 12 by 24 inch mat, this machine can use it. If I want to use my Cameo 12 by 12 inch mat, that's totally great. This machine can still use it. Um, and you can set custom sizes. If you're gonna be cutting straight from a roll, you would choose your cutting mat as none. And then you can choose, excuse me, you can choose your really large widths and lengths. So right there, I've told it that I've got a 24 inch wide by 48 inch long piece of probably vinyl, because uh, I'm using no cutting that. And the Cameo Pro is all ready to have you set, set up your design and, and send that. All right, did I answer that question? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let me do a little bit of show and tell. Um, this back here is a chalkboard, uh, a blank chalkboard piece. It's actually, I just grabbed it from Home Depot. It's 24 inches by 48 inches. The back side's a whiteboard, so double duty. Uh, and I made a design that was 20, almost 24 inches by 48 inches and cut it all in one piece. And I weeded it and I applied it uh, all to fill up this huge chalkboard. Um, so if you are interested in maybe uh, sign making, this is something, this machine is something you might wanna consider so you don't have to put things together piecemeal you can just do the whole, the whole thing all at once. Uh, let's see, another thing I've done is, this you might have seen on my Instagram account. Uh, this is a, it was a blank doormat that I got from Home Depot and it is 18 inches by 27 inches. And I cut a stencil all in one piece and then just applied craft paint. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that, uh, how to do this one, um, just so, so you can see the machine in action. But I showed this uh, mat to my husband and he's like, well, can it do bigger? <laughs> and I said, why yes, yes it can. And so then I went and got a bigger doormat This one is 24 inches by 24 inches high and 36 inches wide. And again, it's so big I can't even. <laughs> uh, this all one stencil, one piece. So I had to turn the design sideways and that way I was able to get my width to about, I left it at about 20, two or 23 inches just so I would have a little bit of white space, but I could have gone the full 24 inches. Um, so this one was my, my bigger version just because I could. All right, so who wants to see the Cameo Pro in action? I'm assuming we're getting yeses. <laughs> okay, so since I'm gonna cut vinyl straight from the roll, I'm gonna take out my support piece. I don't need that. And so I've got my two sides of the external roll feeder. Uh, one thing that you, well, if you saw the Cameo Pro setup video that Silhouette has on uh, YouTube, um, that is, it probably showed, I think it showed this, but you can actually adjust where these rollers sit. So if you just unscrew, uh, you've actually got three little spots where you can adjust it and you would just adjust it the same on either side. Um, I like it in the middle spot. So once you've got it adjusted where you want, just tighten that little knob up again. 
And so now I can put my vinyl on here. And I just love how easily it slides. And you can adjust side to side, making it about as wide as it'll go. Uh, and let me show you uh, in the software, I'll set up my design. So let me get that screen sharing going again. Okay. So I have got this, I was playing with a bunch of different sizes of mats. I just went and bought several sizes of mats. And then in Silhouette Studio, I just created a rectangle for these different sizes. Um, and so this is the one that I used for the smaller welcome mat that I showed just a minute ago, 18 inches by 27 inches. And so I sized my design. I opened it. Uh, let's see. Let me tell you what designs those are in case you like them. Okay, so the the welcome kind of is design 325357 in the Silhouette Design Store. And the mask that I used is in the design store number 328286. Okay, so now let me go back to my full screen and I'll check my page setup. So I've got Cameo Pro as my machine, cutting mat is none, and my media size, I've set it to 24 inches wide because that's how wide my vinyl roll is. And I've set my height. The height doesn't really matter. You just need it to be longer by at least an inch than your design. Um, so I think I just threw in 36 inches. So if I go to my send panel, you can see that this is ready to cut. It's got the bold lines. If for some reason yours is not showing bold lines when you have a design, you would just select it and choose over here, cut your middle option. Uh, since I have my machine connected, got it down here. If you're ever trying to choose between multiple machines, you can check down here, uh, this little machine icon at the bottom and you have your choices of what machine to choose from. But I've got mine set up, my Cameo 4 Pro. And it, because my auto blade is already in the machine, it's detected it, it knows the auto blade is there. And I have chosen a custom setting uh, that I've made for glossy vinyl. And for me, I'm setting my blade at two and my force at eight and my speed at nine. And it's going to cut. So all I need to do is it telling me right here, I need to load my media. So after I get that loaded, I'll just press send. But for now, I will Stop sharing my screen. Hang on just a minute. Okay. All right, so it looks like you can see my machine again. So I'm gonna load this on this Cameo Pro, your rollers are a little bit different. So instead of having a little push button or a twist where you will slide that, this one is a little easier. Um, you still pull down the release lever. And then it's just a sliding, um, I don't even know what you call it, just, just a piece that slides. If it doesn't slide easily, you just would, you would pinch on those, but you, uh, for the ones I've tried, 
it's easy to slide all by itself. And you just wanna line up your little notch with one of those arrows. And I'm gonna go with the 24 inch and lock my lever back up in place. And then get my vinyl loaded. So you've got two options when you are loading with the Cameo Pro and also um, other Cameo 4 machines. You can hold it in place and then press your load button. Uh, I should mention when you are cutting without a mat, you wanna use the inner load line. I'm not sure you can see it, but there are two guidelines for loading your machine. And when you're loading your media without a mat, you wanna choose the inner load line, the right-hand side. Okay, so I've got that and I can hold it in place and press my load button. Uh, this also has an auto sensor and I have found that I tend to go back and forth. So it's, it's really a personal preference thing. Um, if you just do it the traditional way, you're gonna press, press in your media and hold it there and then press the load button. And that has loaded. Uh, the other way you can do it is it's got an auto load. It's got a sensor. My arms are not quite long enough. <laughs> uh, so if you press your load button, then you can hold your media up to the rollers and it will suck it in. So we'll try that. I'll press my load button and it's flashing. So I'm gonna hold my media tight up against the rollers and then it'll suck it in. So that looks like that loaded well. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this to cut. And we can watch it do its thing. Do we have other questions? Sorry, I can't hear you. No questions, okay. So with vinyl, you could go with a higher speed. I just am used to cutting my vinyl on a speed of nine. And so uh, your higher speeds that the Cameo 4, including the Cameo Pro can do, those are, you should save those for things that have lower resistance. So sketch pens, yes, you can use the higher speed up to 30. Uh, vinyl, it doesn't have a lot of resistance, so you're probably okay to go at the higher speed. Uh, you may not want to do something super intricate at the higher speed, and then you don't want to use those super high speeds for um, anything that's dense that, that your blade might get hung up on. So um, I tend to just use the, the speeds and settings that I'm used to for my other Cameo machines. Okay, so the question is, are the cutting blades different from the other silhouette machines? And the answer is, they are exactly the same as, the blades are exactly the same as for the other two Cameo 4 models. But if you're talking about moving from like a Cameo 1, 2, or 3 and upgrading to a Cameo Pro, then you do have different blades or at least a different adapter. So if you're using an older machine that uses like a, rat, a ratchet blade, um, this little black one that you have to twist to adjust, then you would just use an adapter and that will make all of your older tools backwards compatible. Or, or the adapter is backwards compatible. So, so you can use your older tools if you are um, using an adapter. It's got a different blade um, shape, 
And it's also got this auto detect feature. So the Cameo 4, the 4, the Plus, and the Pro, they all have this auto detect um, feature. And so all of these different blades, they have, it, the machine knows what tool you've got inserted into your machine based on what, what tool you're using because it's got this auto detection feature. So blades are the same for the Cameo 4 between the Pro and the Plus and the 4. Uh, and then if you're using older tools, then you just use the adapters. Do you have any further questions on that? Okay, so where can you buy the Pro? If you've checked Silhouette's website, you've probably seen that it sold out the very first day it was announced. No surprise. Uh, if you're looking for a Cameo Pro right now, uh, your best bet is Michaels, michaels.com. You can order the Cameo Pro online and they, yeah, Michaels is the best place. If you're in different countries, you just wanna wanna check with your local retailer because the, the Pro machines are being shipped to various retailers right now. If you want it right now, michaels.com is your best place. Looks like we are getting close to finishing on this. Uh, so materials that this, the Cameo Pro will cut, obviously vinyl, heat transfer, uh, paper of all thicknesses, cardstock, thin paper, whatever. Um, it'll cut crepe paper, it'll cut felt, it'll cut fabric, it will, um, it'll still cut all of the Silhouette specialty materials, so like all the different kinds of sticker paper that Silhouette sells, um, all of those all of those materials that you're used to cutting with your other Silhouette machines, the Cameo Pro can cut. Uh, it also does print and cut, and uh, it uses, it still uses the PicScan mat. So if you're trying to use PicScan, you would use your Cameo PicScan mat. Um, okay, so this, I must have had it set up for an auto feed, so it has, uh, shot itself out the back and I just have to find the right place sorry this was my fault usually it will uh, return to the point of origin unless you have set it up in the software to do the auto feed and I forgot to turn the auto feed off Okay, so I've got it. So my design is a little bit past the backside of the machine, the lowest point of my design. And so now I need to use the built-in cross cutter, which is another really nice feature uh, with the Cameo 4 machines, including the Cameo Pro. So I think we're gonna maybe turn the machine and get a better view of the cross cutter. I think, I think that's probably more. Okay, here we go. We're rotating and I'll move it a little closer to me. Okay, so it's got this really nifty cross cutter in the back. Uh, this is an improvement from the Cameo 3. I don't know if you have a Cameo 3 that had a uh, separate tool that you would use to cross cut through this channel. The Cameo 4, including the Cameo Pro, has a rotary cross cutter. So there's little tabs that you pull down on both sides and you press it down and then you grab your little rotary and you just slice it across. Okay, and make sure that it's all the way across and then you lift up those tabs again get into the habit of lifting those tabs as soon as you do your cross cutter, because if you leave that down, your next job won't feed through if you forget about it. 
So that has cut my vinyl straight across. All right, we'll move this machine out of the way. And I can finish unloading that. All right, so now I've got this large uh, material. Uh, the Cameo Pro, I should mention that the Cameo Pro also uses uh, this punch tool for vinyl. Uh, this is a new tool with the Cameo 4 that will actually poke little marks uh, using carriage two to tell you where to weed. And the reason I didn't use it for this design is because I'm creating a stencil and the software, unless I draw a box around it, the, the software is assuming that I'm pulling off all this extra material around the design. Uh, I didn't want to create a box because I wanted to use this whole piece and I want to pull away the design itself and my punch tool would not have known that difference. So I could have used this for a different project with vinyl. Um, that's why I didn't, hopefully I didn't make that less easy to understand. Okay, so since this is a stencil, I'm going to weed away the design itself. So I'm just pulling away the part that I don't want. Being careful to keep it away from the rest of the vinyl. I don't want it to fall down and catch because it's sticky. But you can see how easily that comes off. Vinyl is a great beginner project, by the way. It's, it's uh, pretty forgiving and pretty satisfying to use. I wouldn't, maybe wouldn't use a huge project your very first time, but this was basically my first large project I did with my Cameo Pro just for fun, and it's pretty easy. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to weed away the parts of the design that I don't need. Do we have any other questions at the moment? Um, somebody is wondering if you can cut fabric without a mat or if you need a mat when you cut fabric. Okay, so the question is, can you cut fabric without a mat? And the answer is no. You would definitely need to use a mat with fabric uh, your difference is just because you need that support. Anytime you're cutting without a mat, you need to have a backing on it or it needs to uh, be firm enough. So you could cut paper without a mat on this machine um, and it'll do a little pop out cutting where it leaves just a tiny bit of it attached. But fabric, you have to have uh, a mat because it's not stiff enough. Uh, if you're cutting fabric, you've got two options. Um, you can either use the rotary blade in with carriage two. And so you would use your mat and not use any type of stabilizer or stiffener. Um, and if you, for some reason, you wouldn't need to on the Cameo Pro, but for some reason, if you wanted to um, cut it with a regular blade, then you would need to use some stiffening uh, like Tyrael Magic or a fabric interfacing to make that stiffer and then you could use the regular blade. But the Cameo Pro will cut your um, fabric with the rotary blade. And it's really nice to have the 
full 24 inches just because a lot of patterns aren't limited to a 12 by 12 size. So the Cameo Pro is really awesome for fabric. Okay, so we've got a question about additional mats. Um, the Cameo Pro, you've got the 24 by 24 inch standard tack mat. This one comes with the machine. Um, you've also got a, let me grab this here. You can also buy the light tack mat for the Cameo Pro and the strong tack mat for the Cameo Pro. So you can get all three mat tackiness varieties um, and Silhouette America does have those available on their website right now. So if you need 24 by 24 inch mats, you can get those right now. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this whole project from start to finish just because it takes several layers of paint and drying. But let me show you how I applied it to my mat, my doormat, not cutting mat. Okay, so when you are transferring vinyl to uh, your surface, you need to use transfer tape and that way you don't lose any, um, any of these pieces in the middle that are separate. And so uh, they don't have 24 inch wide transfer tape. Well, you can find it. There are places that, that sell it. Um, but transfer tape is nice because you can just piecemeal it together. So I've only got this nine inch wide roll but you'll see that it's actually going to be fine for this design. And I might stop in the middle here just because I don't want this to take too much time, but I do, I do want to show just the process of getting it all set up. And so I would take my transfer tape and make sure that it covers this middle, this main middle section. And then I can put two smaller pieces on these other, on these other areas. I have not been one to do big giant projects before. The pro has made it fun, but you just have to get used to working on a larger scale. So I'm going to take my transfer tape and just peel back part of the backing so I can get it started. You can see I've got part of it exposed and part of it bent back. And so this way I can place it down, cover my design. If I'm just a little shy of covering that design, that's okay. So once I've got that covered, then I just peel the transfer tape backing out from underneath. I'll just kind of slide it away and make sure that it goes down smoothly. As I go. Okay, and then I can just take a couple more sections. Finish that, covering that exposed design. So 
The transfer tape is exactly what it says. It's for transferring your design. So I'm making sure that that transfer tape, when I'm using it piecemeal like this, I just want to make sure that it overlaps um, these other sections of transfer tape so it'll all come off at the same time. Okay, so now now the trick is to get it onto the mat. And I'm going to do it the same way that I just did the transfer tape. I'm going to bend back part of the backing. To get it started. And I want to make sure that looks centered. It's pretty good. And then I'm just going to put an extra piece of tape here on the end. Oops, I don't want to cover my don't want to cover my design, so I'll scoot it over a little bit. And that just gives me a little extra work with, plus it'll help me from getting any more, any paint off on this side. Okay, so now, same thing as before peeling away the backing, smooth it down and leave the design in place on the surface. So this is kind of the process you'll do when you're working with large vinyl projects. Okay, and when you're working with something like a doormat, this is not going to stick really strong, uh, but your technique that you'll use with your stencil is um, You'll use a, a stippling brush is what I do. And I just um, make sure I'm going up and down and not rubbing or anything that would get under those, those crevices. So make sure when you're applying paint, it would be an up and down motion. So we can take off the transfer tape and make sure that the design stays in place. go in the reverse order of what I did before since I'm using separate pieces. Oh, let's see. I lost one of my pieces. So I try not to throw away my, my backing until I'm sure that my entire design is there. So I can pull off this little piece that came off when it shouldn't have and just place it where it belongs. Okay, so finish taking off this transfer tape.
tell you, Christina, I also have a question about person cut on the pro, and someone's wondering if you can do more than one print and cut sheet on the mat, or if you can only do one. So the question is, can you still do print and cut on the pro? And if so, can you do more than one on the mat at a time? And I actually haven't tested that or talked to the software people about it, but I am pretty sure you can just do your single print and cut. It does do print and cut, uh, but it would just be your, your one at a time. So if your printer does, will print in 12 by 12, you can print, do a print and cut that's as large as 12 by 12. Uh, but if you're doing like a letter size, then you would still just do one at a time. And you can use your Cameo Pro 24 inch mat to do that, or you could just go with a smaller mat if you're doing a smaller print and cut. Um, but I will show you a fun trick in just a second. All right, so there is my stencil, but I'm gonna show you cutting a lot of paper on a mat in just a second. So at this point, I've got my stencil on and I would just take basic craft paint, acrylic craft paint and uh, I like these stiff stippling brushes. So um, any firm paintbrush, I think you could probably use a foam paintbrush as well. But this is kind of a stiff stippling brush and that's what it was sold as and I bought it at Michael's. But you would use your paint and you're just gonna do with your stippling brush, you're just gonna do an up and down motion across this whole open area. I think it took me, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes for each pass to fill that all in. And I just did three light coats or three medium to light coats. Um, and that is all it took for me to get this kind of this bold white look for this finished, uh, this finished mat. So um, I'm not going to do the painting right now unless there are specific questions about it, but I would like to move on to um, another little project. Give me just a second to clear my space. Okay, so Uh, I made this little envelope card uh, and that is just regular cardstock. But instead of sending multiple pages through, um, I went ahead and just filled my mat with these various colors. So. I like paper crafting. I like card making. And so, of course, I tested how well my pro does with it. So let me screen share and show you. Let's see. One second. I'll screen share and show you how I've got this design set up. Okay, it looks like you can see it now. Okay, so this time, instead of choosing no media, I've got my machine set for Cameo Pro and my cutting mat set for Cameo Pro, the full 24 inches by 24 inches. And my media side is, is 24 inches by 24 inches. But I'm working with um, just letter size colored cardstock. 
So what I've done is I've just told the machine through the software that I'm using that full 24 inch space. Um, and so I've set my design up, let's see, in case you're wondering, this is number 326178 in the design store that I've actually used my uh, guidelines, which I believe is in, I think you have to have designer edition for these guidelines, but I just dragged out guidelines from these, from the rulers uh, to set this one at eight and a half inches and this one at uh, 17 inches. And so I've basically marked off my eight and a half by 11 inch page sizes here with my grid, uh, my guidelines. And then I've got these smaller pieces here for three other colors. And so let me stop my screen share and just show you how I put that on my mat. Okay, so grab my 24 inch mat. Peel off the liner. Now, if you are using just a single page of letter size paper, you're not gonna go all the way to the left edge. There is um, a little strip that is not covered by adhesive. Totally fine if you're doing a big project like the fabric and you're using the rotary blade um, to have that little bit exposed. But if you're using smaller sizes of paper, you're gonna leave this little uh, bit of adhesive not exposed. I mean, leave it exposed. <laughs> but since I told my machine that I am using the full 24 inches, I am gonna go ahead and put it like the mat showed on my software, put it all the way to the edge. But I just made sure that my design did not go over here on that part that doesn't have adhesive. I kind of shifted it over so I can cut off the main piece. So my white paper was on the left and then I have my blue paper. And then had brown. This is actually one of the reasons why I loved my, and still do, love my Cameo machine is that I can cram a lot of stuff onto my mat. Portrait is awesome if you're taking it on the go, but I love bigger workspaces. So I just did the same thing with the Cameo Pro and just pack on everything that I can. So the way I've set up my design is that I've, I've got those, those parts cutting from these various sections. Okay, so I've got my mat covered with the papers that I'm using. I'll go ahead and take my roll of vinyl off. And since I'm using my mat, I need to go back to using the support. I'll move that bar and just tuck that in there, replace the bar. So, so when you're using a mat, these two um, roller bars actually, and, and the support, they all act together as a support for your large mat. So since I'm using the 24 inch cutting mat, I'm gonna go with the left loading line, the outer guideline. So I know where to align the left edge of my mat. And I like to kind of hold it from the back and give it support from behind as I uh, load this into my machine. So let me see if I can reach this. 
Okay, it looks like that loaded fine. And I'm gonna screen share again. Go back to my Silhouette Studio software. Okay, so you can see that those match up to where I have paper on my mat. So I'll go to my send panel. Hang on just a second. We're waiting for that screen share to show up. Okay, here we are. So I've just gone up to my send panel and this time I'm gonna choose, make sure it knows I've got the mat, my auto blade is detected. Um, I'm gonna go with cardstock textured heavy for this weight of paper I'm doing. And I'm just gonna bump it up to two passes just to make sure that it cuts all the way through. Um, I will usually add multiple passes before I force up uh, increase the force or the blade if it's if it's close to cutting through if I just add an extra pass it usually does a good job so I'll go ahead and send that and then we can watch it cut the paper and here's one of the things you'll get with the Cameo Pro is you'll get these extra pop-ups when you are using your cutting mat so right here, it tells you to align the media on your cutting mat exactly as shown, which we did. We went all the way to the left and top, that far corner. If you're using something smaller, like a 12 by 12 inch page or a letter size page, it knows it based on how you set up on the send panel or on the page setup panel. And it'll tell you to move it over. And, and you'll see that once you actually use it, but um, this little pop-up comes up that's really helpful so you know exactly where to load your media if you're using the cutting mat. And if you get used to it, you have the cho uh, choice to not show it again. But we'll say next, tells me to load it and we'll click send. We have any other questions? So, uh, in case you're wondering, this will be available on Silhouette's YouTube channel afterwards. They're recording it, so you'll be able to watch this again. So this does, like I said, the Cameo Pro cuts any material that your other silhouette cutting machines will cut. We've talked about adjusting the rollers. We've talked about the cross cutter. We've talked about the auto load, your roll feeder. Um, Yeah, so the question is, how did I know how much paper to use and where to place it? So that's what I used on my, um, on my software. You can see that I had my grid turned on. And so basically I'm counting squares. Um, and I trimmed off on that far end. I was able to fit two eight and a half by 11 inch pieces. And then I trimmed it, I think they were maybe seven inches wide by three inches. And yeah, I'm just counting my squares to match um, my cutting mat. My software shows the same thing as my cutting mat. Q 
keep watching this <laughs> do its thing. Almost done. So the question is, do I have any planned projects that I want to do now? Uh, really, this big chalkboard was something I'd been wanting to do for a while, the, the chalkboard behind me uh, that I showed earlier. And uh, that was, oh, I do know. I do know what else I want to do. So I love cutting crepe paper. Um, I made this wreath with crepe paper flowers. And so I want to take my big roll of crepe paper and, and just roll it out on the mat and be able to cut a whole bunch of uh, crepe paper flower pieces and, you know, do a, a more filled in wreath, whether that's leaves or, or flowers, that's actually on my, on my to-do list. Uh, the, the bigger size is just really nice for, for getting a lot more done in one, in one cut job. Okay, so that is done. I'll unload it. And so now I've got all of my card pieces cut out. You can still roll your mat to get a little bit of help peeling things off. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just kind of rolling the mat down across the edge of my desk, my table, and that helps release these pieces without them doing a lot of curling. Uh, on smaller mats, I'll flip it over and pull my mat up and leave the paper down in place against the table, but um, with the large mat, it's a little harder. And so I'm doing this rolling off the edge of the table to help me out. I'm just peeling those off. And I think that's about all I had prepared to um, show, but are there any other questions about materials or capabilities with the with the Cameo Pro. Some people are wondering about material wise and can you use like the three millimeter craft blade so that cut that can't Yes. Okay, so the the question is what materials can it cut and can you use the three millimeter craft blade? And yes you can. So the Cameo Pro will do the same thing as the Cameo four. So um, the craft blade, I've experimented with, with quite a few things. Um, I think what I'm using the craft blade most often with is leather. Um, and I did not bring any leather samples, but um, just like the Cameo four, you can use the three millimeter craft blade. It has that same uh, three millimeter clearance with the Cameo Pro as the Cameo 4. Uh, and so you can use all of these, these extra tools in Carriage 2 for those extra um, specialty features. Uh, the Cameo Pro also comes with a, so you can use the sketch pens using the sketch pen adapter, but the Cameo 4, including the Cameo Pro, also comes with its own um, adjustable sketch pen adapter. So you can use like a Sharpie marker or a white marker, a white ballpoint pen. You would just um, use, use that 
and you can insert that. These are all labeled. So this goes in, in carriage one, probably hard to tell on the camera, but it has a number one on it. So you know it goes in carriage one. And these other tools that I pulled out a minute ago have a number two on them. So you know they go in carriage two. And those, um, they're marked with a one or a two on the actual machine itself. So you can still do sketching with your own pens or with a silhouette sketch pen. Um, all of that is still, is still possible. So for this card, at this point, I would just glue those pieces on. I think I'm not going to do that just in the interest of time, but um, you can see how well that cut paper. So as a paper crafter, that's great news for me. Just layer those on there based on, on the design. Well, let's see, we did get some flower centers in the white also, but you can, you can see how that goes. Uh, do we have any other questions? Do you guys feel like this was helpful? Does it make you excited for a pro? I'm, I'm really excited uh, that, this is, that this is here now. Um, and, and really because it's bigger, but it still does everything that the other machines do. Um, I just love it. Oh. Yes, let's show how to put this, um, these pieces store together. And so when you uh, don't need your machine, so you would use these supports whenever you're doing cutting with a mat or vinyl or whatever. But when you're ready to put it away, put it to the side, just pull off your little bar across the top. Pull these pieces out and you would just flip that over and they all nestle together so it's a nice little it's a little compact thing and just stick your, your bar close to your machine um, yeah so that's that's a nice convenient uh, storage solution for you do we have any other questions? Okay, well, I hope that you guys are as excited about this machine as I am, and uh, I'll definitely be back to do some more projects with the Cameo Pro. I think if you guys are interested, we'll do some more of these live Zoom style classes and, and have full projects. Um, but I'm so excited that you were here to join me and um, we will see you again.